it's all right for you. You've only got to set out a few bar stalls and unload some bottles. 9am's our busiest time. Why do people feel the need to be first in the queue? You sure you're all right, Trace? Yeah, I'll see you later. Morning, Trace. Hey, here she is. Big day, Trace, eh? Oi, lads. What's up with Tracy? Apart from staring death in the face. What? You ain't too far off yourself, are you, mate? Oh, cheeky, cheeky. <laughs> what the hell are you on about? It's a birthday. The big 6-0. When? Today. Thanks. Why didn't you tell me? And she says she's my oldest friend. Sorry. 20 years we've been getting the bus together. That's 20 birthdays. You'd have thought I'd have written it down by now. I'm really not that bothered. But this is a big one. You're not going to miss it. You did forget my 50th. Oh, I got away with that. But that's why I want to make today extra special. It's OK, thanks. What? So you're just going to get the bus, go to work, get the bus home again? It's what I've done my whole life. But are you not going to see your mum? Oh, she'll just make a fuss. What about Tom? Surely he wants to see his mum on her 60th. Seemingly not. Well, why don't we celebrate all things Tracy? I really am OK. It's fine. I'm going to go home, put my feet up. So I think in a huge cake baked by yours truly, Mary Berry has nothing on me, um, and tunes by you, Winston. All right. Oh, and Ethan, can you do a couple of seafood platters, something fancy looking? The finest for Trace. And you? You can just, um, well, stand there looking cool, crack some jokes or something. When exactly is this party? Well, tonight, obviously. I've got five aside tonight. There'll be a man down. I'm sorry, my darling. It's my daughter's dance show. I just can't do it. Really sorry. Sorry. I could do tonight. Do a bit of food, get a few of the punters from the pub to swing by. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Look, here are Tracy's keys. I'll text you the address. You let yourself in. I'll come along with her later. Well, and um, while you're there, I don't suppose you could deck the place out, could you? Oh, I, I don't know. Need some kind of party planner for that. Hiya. I don't suppose you're free tonight, are you? Do us a huge favour. You really don't need to walk me into my own living room. Oh, you're nearly claiming your pension. I don't want you to trip and put a hip out. Why? Surprise! No, you lot! <laughs> and for one night only, we will serve you, oh. my dear. Oh, no, sorry, my mocktail. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much, Linda. Well, I could not be here, could I? Mm, you know, my eye for design as well. <laughs> right, let's have some music. You all shouldn't have. We had to. It's a huge birthday. No, you really shouldn't. Come on, you deserve this. <laughs> Cheers! Now, a career in hospitality ain't easy. You know, people think it's all fun, but they don't see us lugging barrels at 9am, do they? And you've got it all, Trace. The warmth, the familiarity, you know, everyone's drink. And that's why we're all here tonight. That's why we wanted to do this party. You are everyone's favourite barmaid and we are so lucky to have you. Didn't you have her sacked? Uh, that was Woody, not me. I'd never let that happen. Thank you all so much for coming. It means so much. Oh, you need a new drink. <laughs> Just so you know, Linda only bought a few balloons and a few piddly cocktail umbrellas. I did the rest. I know you did. Oh. And Ethan too. He's looking great, isn't he? Out of all the fish gear. Shush you! <laughs> he is! <laughs> Look, sorry. I snapped earlier. I shouldn't. It's a lot. I get it. You heard nothing from Tom? We haven't spoken in a few years. It's best I just leave the past in the past. Here you go! You know, I feel bad that we didn't take you to a spa or something. You know, really treat you. It's fine. You know, I'm not great at surprises. Yeah, but it's a big birthday. You know, a few extra special surprises is what it's all about. I love this oh, one. Come on. Let's have a dance, you. <laughs> Woo! Oh. 
Tom, it's Samira, your mum's friend. Um, I'm guessing you know what day it is, and um, well, I know it's a lot, but your mum would love to see you. Not like you to be clock watching. You're normally the life and soul. You want to know a secret? What? Special guest incoming. Well, hopefully. A stripper? No! Although that would have been good. Well, who then? Her son, Tom. Didn't he go and live with his dad for years and freeze Tracy out? I mean, I don't know the ins and outs, but... Yeah, well, that's all water under the bridge, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. Hang on a minute. You've got kids, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Grown-up ones? Mm -hmm. I mean, I love having Johnny home. And, and the others on the phone, even if it is just to listen to me rant. Exactly. And that's what Trace needs. But it works both ways. Tom might need her, and he's afraid to call. Kids need their mums. Actually, I better get back. I've got to go, Trace. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> so much. Oh, you're oh. so welcome. <laughs> and um, maybe just be open to a few more surprises. You might not know that you want him. Happy birthday, dear Tracy. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Make a wish. Yay! Oh, I'd take it. I've got to cut all this up then. <laughs> she said that's your gift. You should keep it all for yourself. Your proper birthday present has arrived. Tom. Sorry if I missed most of the party. Stopped at the shops. Oh. Oh. He couldn't not be here, could you, Tom? No. What about the other 364 days of the year? Or the couple of years before that? Mum. Sorry, I've had a few drinks. It's been a long day. Carry on. I'm going to go and sort my hair out and, uh, yeah, there's plenty to drink in the kitchen. Yeah. You OK? Is he here? Still. Tom. Tom! Go. It's pathetic. I'm pathetic. I love it. Please, can you stay just a bit longer? If you can. Sure. Thanks. Yeah. Two sugars. I expect you could do with the boost. Y you look tired. I've been working a lot. Money's tight. You know how it is. Your dad not been helping out with that. Sorry. The boys, Angela, are they okay? You're not struggling too much. I would love to see them sometime. They'd love to see you. We just assume you're always busy with work. Well, you, know? it... you do seem to be there all the time. Beats being here by myself the whole time. Mum. I don't need you to feel sorry for me, Tom. I like work. It feels like home. But you, my family, the grandkids, they're what really matter. I'd drop work in a heartbeat to spend time with you and your family. Let's clear up. You're wearing it. <clears throat> of course. It looks good. Don't look at all cheap. I don't care. It's what it means that counts. There you go. Have you been in there the whole time? Well, actually, I've just been making up the second bedroom so that Tom can have your double. <laughs> it's late, and maybe in the morning things will seem a bit clearer. You're w welcome to if, oh, you, well, if um... you want. <laughs> you need to get back, Angela and the boys. I no, understand. I can stay. Great. I'll, um, oh. I'll 
get rid of this. Thank you. Oh, reuniting families, just call me Davina. <laughs> <laughs> Sure you want me to go? Yes, I'll be fine. Oh, thanks again. Oh. Eight sixteen tomorrow, no later. Not even if you're hanging. Oh. <laughs> you got everything you need? Yeah. You sure you don't mind me being here? No. I'm happy you're staying. Me too. I won't be back tonight. But look, look. It'll be worth it, yeah? She might be able to help. If you know, I'll leave her issue. Morning, Mum. You're up early. I was going to let you lie in. Don't imagine you get many of those with the kids. No, it's fine. Caesar day and all that. You've got work today too. Later. I was actually wondering uh, before that if you'd like some breakfast. Oh. My treat. You don't need to do that. Oh, I'd like to. I could come to Walford with you so you're not late for your shift. Just as long as you don't mind getting the bus. She seems nice. What happened to Kathy? She's still around. I remember sitting for hours at that table waiting for you to finish. Yeah, I wasn't exactly parent of the year, was I? <laughs> Sorry, it's uh, 1650. Well, you're 150 short. But I gave you two tenors. No, no, a tenor and a fiver. No, I think you're going to have to check. Tom. Sorry, Marie. It's fine. I'll check. I could have made up the difference if you were short. Yeah, but I gave her two tenors. Look, Tom, you can tell me anything. If it's work, money. Yeah. yeah it's money. It's OK. We're all up against it. No, but I'm in debt too. A lot. So the, the first credit card wasn't enough. Sorry. The first credit card wasn't enough. And then I maxed out the second. And the third. And then... Then what? Then I had to look over options. You mean loan shark? Shh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Just some bloke on the internet. Right place. Right time. But, um, yesterday they came knocking and said they wanted it all back by the end of the week. Grace! Tom! <laughs> Don't mind me. Just checking you're having a lovely brekkie. <laughs> I'm just grabbing a coffee. We're good, thanks. Oh, I'll go then, but, um... Just to say again, it was so lovely of you to swing by the party yesterday, especially at such short notice. <laughs> Shows how much you wanted to see you, eh? <laughs> um, best go here. So the loan charts came knocking yesterday, and you just happened to swing by my party. No, that's not why. It is. Such short notice. More like the perfect opportunity. Clearly you didn't want to burden your precious dad, but Mum, she'll just roll over. No. I expect nothing of you, Tom. 
I didn't expect you to turn up yesterday. I didn't even expect a text. But what I do want is to be treated with a bit of respect, not tricked into thinking you cared about my birthday. Mum. Honestly, you're about six of them in here giving Gina jet all night. Now, she did give him a piece of her mind, but then I stepped in and I said, look, do you want to sling your hook or meet a fate worse than death? <laughs> well, I, I had karaoke to set up, didn't I? And I had Bat Out of Hell with nine minutes and 52 seconds to sort out for myself. Well, puff of smoke, that was all that was left of them. <laughs> oh. Hello, darling. Hi, Trace. Hi. You yeah, okay? You seemed a bit distracted earlier. It's nothing. Um, did you want to grab a coffee and chat, maybe? I mean, I know I work early, so you work late. No, 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 no. she don't work late, darling. Um, not every night, anyway. And I do the rotor. You can have the day off if you want. Right. Let me talk to her, yeah? He is sex on legs. What's the matter with you? Come here. Let's go. Here you go, darling. Oh. We never exactly had a normal relationship. He moved in with his dad very young. I always thought there'd still be love there, you know? As parents, we always want to take away that pain and vulnerability. But what about their kids? Our mistakes, their mistakes, fine. But the little ones, I want to be there to protect them too. Can you talk to the mum? Well then, just do everything in your power to keep them safe. I just wish me and Tom could go back to how we were. He was such a sweet boy. It's like I don't recognise him. Trace. I know you want to hold them as tight as you can and cuddle them and take away their pain. But then you realise that they're their own person now their own mind and their own mistakes. They're always going to be your baby. But you've got to learn to do things different. Take a step back. Do everything in your power to keep them on the straight and narrow, but... They're always going to be your baby. Have you got a pen I can borrow? Thanks. Shumpy, have you seen Tom, my son? Uh, yeah, I think I saw him going to camp. Thanks. What's this? Take it. Whatever's going on between us, I'm still your mum. It's for Angela and the boys too. Never forgive myself if they were in any danger. Look after them, Tom. What's that? Seems our little issue saw it. When you told her about us. One thing at a time, yeah, Molly. So he took the money. So that's that. And you haven't heard a peep out of him since? Why would I? It's the reason he came to the party, tried to take me for breakfast. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. Just let me deal with it. Look, if you don't tell her, I will. Don't get involved, Ross. I'll see you on the bus later, yeah? See you later. Oh. Tom. I want to talk. Yeah. Spout more lies. 
I just want to say thank you. And rebuild some sort of relationship. After you were so generous. Please, Mum. I'm sorry, Sunshine. It's not as easy as that. I'll meet you in the cafe later. Great. Break at one. I'll wait. Trace. I at least need to hear him out, don't I? Sorry about Tom. Before, he's going through some tough times. Patience of a saint you have, Trace. I've always said it. Um, Tracy, is it? Yes. Sorry, you are... Uh, I'm Molly. I'm Tom's girlfriend. What? Angela. Angela and him broke up a while ago. But neither were happy for quite a long time. I and mean, the boys are okay, though. I mean, as okay as they can be after a divorce, Why I guess... Why are you telling me this? Why wouldn't he say? Probably because of this. Oh, hello, darling. G and T and a lemonade, please. Oh, what's this? A busman's holiday. <laughs> What's that? Don't ask. Mm. All right. <laughs> Look, I know this is probably not how you wanted to find out, um, but Tom, he just doesn't uh... tackle things head on. Remember, <sighs> I married his dad. Yeah. Well. Um, he and Angela, things broke down like a year or so ago, and then we got together like a few months after that, and we just felt right for both of us. Like, really right. And now you're going to be a nan again. <laughs> Here we go, darlings. G and T and a lemonade. Yeah. <laughs> there you are. What the hell? I said let me deal with it. Yeah, but you wouldn't. She's my mum. She finds out when I decide to tell her. Hey! Respect in my pub. Especially for your mum. It's the very least she deserves, young man. Why didn't you tell me, Tom? Why hide this? I called you once. When me and Angela weren't good. But you didn't pick up. You called back, but timing wasn't right. And then everything just snowballed. I did want to tell you. Does your dad know? Why do you keep mentioning dad? Comparing what I tell him and what I tell you? I don't know. Maybe I find dad easier to talk to. Maybe it's because dad was always there for me. Don't say that. Well, it's true. No wonder I had to come and see you when I need something. Mum, come back. Why, Tom? Well, I just want to talk to you. What more is there to say? Oh, stop. Please. Look. I shouldn't have said that. I know you don't remember, Tom, but I gave you everything. You were always my priority. I was so happy. You were, you were always at work. Yeah, okay. Turned up there every morning for the last 40 years, locked up most nights too. It was just to earn money for our family. Food on our table, clothes on your back. Your dad probably said it was self-serving. I promise you, Tom, I was doing it all for you. Well, it never felt like that. Well, not to me anyway. Or dad. And that's why you guys split up. No, Tom. Your dad and I split up because he cheated on me. I didn't deserve that. Our family didn't. Look, Tom, I didn't want to tell you that. It's the truth. Grace? to tell him what his dad did, didn't I? Of course you did. He's a grown man. He needs to know what his dad is really like. 
What if he never comes back? The 816 missed you this morning. I got an earlier bus. I'm your oldest friend, Trace. I just don't feel like chatting. Well, you're just there to absorb my noise, so I don't look like a mad old woman chattering away to herself. That's how our friendships always worked. I'm sorry. Are you okay? I will be. I just need to deal with this on my own for a bit. But you know where I am, yeah? Thanks, darling. Thank you. Don't worry. I've sent her to the cash and carry. Oh, are you sure we're doing the right thing? Look, we have got to get this sorted, darling. I've been doing a little bit too much sorting lately. You have been a wonderful friend. Oh, what's your poison? Anything over 20%. Go on, then. Tell me what an awful son I've been. Well, I'm not going to lie. You haven't been great. But we all make mistakes, do we not? I'll say. I was there when your dad did what he did. I saw how upset your mum was. She's not a great one for showing huge outpourings of emotion. You could say that again. That don't mean you don't feel anything. I've seen her broken, beyond belief. On that bus every day coming into work. But she always saved it for the bus. To protect you. To stop you from seeing how hurt she really was. And then she'd come in here, slap on a smile and get to work. The show must go on. That's what you do behind a bar. So you show her, you understand, the sacrifices she has made. <coughs> you all right, Trace? <coughs> What are you lot having? Ta da! <laughs> yeah, sorry, we don't have a light. Yeah, it, it, but it's an extra special Bill's Eels pie and mash for the birthday girl. I've even let them put a candle in it. We're sorry we missed your party. But we uh, we thought dinner on the house for you, okay? For being the best barmaid in the world ever. Ever. You okay? It's been a long week. Rid of these. I know you already have a few bunches. I knew we should have bought flowers. I just want to say thanks for, for telling me about Dad. Really wish I hadn't now. No, don't make me love him less. Think of him differently, maybe, but, but really it just sort of makes me get you more. Sorry, you're busy. Elaine can cope. Should we go outside for a chat? Just us. Yeah. You eat it. You pay for it. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> I'd leave your dad's tea on the side in between my early and late shift. But I hadn't even turned my back and you'd have pinched a few of his chips. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> you say you hadn't, <laughs> but I knew you had. Yeah. He never did thank you for cooking his dinner, did he? You always did, though. Oh, can we interrupt? No, uh, we got a scan, actually, today. Today? Yeah, I was going to tell you after I gave you the oh. flowers. Come on, Tom, we're going to be late. Oh, good luck. We'll pop by later. Oh, I'd love that. Such exciting times. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Oh. It's all down to you. If you hadn't have rung him, well, stuck my nose in. No, you tackle things head on. It's what's great about you. I remember when I lost my mum. You were always there for me. And it still breaks my heart, you know, that she's gone. But I just keep wondering whether I told her we loved her enough, you know, when it actually mattered. And that's what I wanted for Tom. I never stop telling him I love him. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> oh. 
Is that the legs? Oh, no, yeah. arms. I said the same thing. <laughs> yeah, he did. The baby healthy, doing well. Totally. They also, uh, they told us it's a girl. <gasps> My first granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> the boys wanted a little stepbrother, but... I... No, no. What we need is some strong female energy in this bloodline. <laughs> Not sure we need any more of that. <laughs> right, we should get back. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's your one. Oh. <laughs> My mum and dad are coming over to Toaster and... Oh, you should come. I know they'd love to meet you. I promised Elaine I'd do a double shift today. Look, I'm sure I can ring her. Cancel. Do overtime the other day. It's fine. You made a promise. Plus, I know what it means to you. But next week, come round. Yeah, sure. See, See you. <laughs> Thank you. It's great. Oh, what are you having? I'm not. I'm just checking how you are. You really don't need to. I want to. I'm good. You can stop worrying. <laughs> you know who's waiting down there, don't you? Oh, I didn't see him. I need to save him. I don't think it's a drink he's after. Stop it. He wants a bit of our trace. I did. <laughs> oh, come on, Trace. Be good to yourself. Go and have a drink with him. There's no reason not to. Oi, Ethan. Trace will be with you in a sec, yeah? I really need to stop hanging around with you so much. <laughs> hey, don't you be ditching me now you've got your son back and a new boyfriend. <laughs> oh, come on, Trace. You're a good egg and you're not getting rid of me that quickly. <laughs> but I do have a job to do. <laughs> yeah, well, it will. Right. How can I get you? Well, catonic, please, Trace. Curry? Uh, no. Hello. 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 